Hello everyone, I'm Ronald Mehta and welcome back to our channel digiate.com. We are your digital aid and we provide free courses on the subjects of business and marketing. Let's start with how to leverage your channel partners. Let's begin with understanding channel partners. A standard marketing channel as we witness is made up of an independent producer, a wholesaler and a retailer. They may suffer a lower profit as a whole system, but the parts of the marketing channel which are small businesses aim to maximize profits. The channel may lack cohesion, but its members have no significant influence on one another. The company has to coordinate with several channel members at the same time. Moving forward, the producer and all channel members must reach an agreement on the condition and terms. It is critical that both parties fulfill their obligations in order for everything to run smoothly. The producer and all channel members must agree on things like pricing rules, sales conditions and especially territory rights. Every channel member should collaborate with the other members of the network. An understanding among all channel members might result in a positive and a profitable experience for the company. Let's look at some case studies of understanding channel partners. First one of Apple. Along with direct distribution channel, Apple also employs a range of indirect distribution channels. Some examples of indirect distribution channels are wholesalers, retailers and cellular network carriers. In fact, during 2021, the company's revenue through its direct and indirect distribution channels accounted for 36% and 64% respectively of total sales. The next case study of Nike. Nike has discontinued its collaboration with a number of major retail partners in the United States. With the aim to reach customers as much as possible, Nike has been speeding up its direct sales strategy. Nike announced the triple double strategy 2x, their growth plan in 2017. The company made a promise to double its cadence and impact of innovation, double its speed to market and double its direct connections with consumers. In fact, uh, Nike has siphoned sales to its own website and network of stores by reducing number of retailers selling their products. and this move of directly reaching out the customer at parts of its consumer direct offense in fact direct to consumer growth accounted for 38% of nike's total revenue in 2021 up from 15% in 2010 so currently nike has been focusing on online sales and its own shops instead of the wholesale channel now moving on to the selection and motivation of channel partners after they have chosen a channel strategy every firm should choose train and motivate and evaluate intermediaries for each channel They must alter the channel design and arrangements over time. Customers frequently perceive the company through the channels. In order to speed up channel member selection, the producer should figure out what differences set apart the better intermediaries. And for that, there are certain criteria such as the financial strength of the channel partner, the cooperativeness, reputation of service provided by the channel partner, record of profit and growth, other lines carried, and number of years in business. Now, Let's look at the selection criteria of Subway. Subway has a special way of doing business. It partners up with individuals or families. This approach of the company is unlike in any other chain businesses which are ordinarily run by investment firms. Fred De Luca, the company's core founder, made the stores cheaper to set up and easier to open. Compared to the $45,000 charge of McDonald's, Subway charges most of the new franchises a meager of $15,000 as initial fee. However, Subway operators must relinquish 8% of gross sales, more revenue than other chains. Along with the 8% of gross sales there are also additional fees and prerequisites that a new franchisee needs to hand over. Moving on to motivating channel partners. This is where you must provide the necessary motivation to your channel partners. They also need to be enthused. The vendor provides them incentives, larger margins, premium, advertising allowances, many among other things. Motivating channel partners maintains several strategies. A variety of strategic powers are required while interacting with channel members and these are first legitimate power the manufacturer's rules and ways of acting are expected by intermediaries under the contract legitimate power will continue to operate as long as the intermediaries believe the manufacturer is a respectable leader next is referent power the intermediaries are delighted to be associated with the manufacturer since they are highly regarded example apple and hp incorporate high referent power next is the reward power In return for their services, intermediaries are given certain benefits. They may receive money or other incentives for completing specific activities or duties on behalf of the manufacturer. And finally, some case studies in managing your channel partners. The first one of McDonald's. McDonald's simplifies franchising policies to attract more diverse candidates in order to attract a wider range of applicants. McDonald's is making lot of modifications to its franchise evaluation process. Starting in 2023, the fast food chain will analyze all the potential new franchises under the same criteria, unlike before, where it gave special treatment to children and spouses of existing operators. In recent years, black franchisees have filed lawsuits against the company, claiming racial discrimination. 
McDonald's also isolate the process of renewing franchisees 20-year-old agreements from determining if the franchisee can operate more restaurants. The firm recently came under fire for a plan to implement a new grading system in early 2019 that concerns some franchisees who worry about possibly offending employees. McDonald's has around 13,000 franchise restaurants in the United States. Last year, over 1750 locations were sold in part because some operators opted to leave the franchise, according to Restaurants Business Online. And the final case study of Nike. Nike ended their partnership with Amazon. In November 2019, Nike ended its two-year pilot program with Amazon.com. Nike decided to not sell its product directly on Amazon as it would allow them to focus on strong, distinctive partnership with other retailers. Experts are led to believe that Nike and other such powerful status companies can walk away from Amazon to avoid diluting their brand. Because this is to the possibility to not get mixed with fake goods found on Amazon's online platform. This further helps the brand to chase sales through their own digital channel as discussed in this video before. So that's it folks, this brings an end to the topic on how to leverage your channel partners. These are the list of sources and links referred to for our content in the video. Thank you and stay tuned for our more videos.